I am Anil Kumar and in this video we will try to understand what is domain and range of the given function. The equation here is write domain and range of f of x equals to 1 divided by fifth root of x minus 1. You can always pause the video, answer the question and then look into my suggestions. Now whenever you have an algebraic function as given here, we know that denominator cannot be zero, so that gives restrictions. In the denominator, we have x minus one. If I equate that not to be zero, then we get x is not equal to one. So we, we get one restriction on the domain of the function. Now this is to the fifth root. How about uh, x minus one being negative? Well, if you have the negative number, for example, negative eight, fifth root of negative root 8 is negative 2. So that is not a restriction, right? Only if these uh, radical roots are even, you have those kinds of restrictions, right? So that is not a restriction. And therefore, we can write for this function that the domain is x belongs to real numbers, where x is not equal to 1, right? So that becomes the domain of this function. Now the question is, how to find range for this function? Since the denominator can have any value, we expect the function to have all the values in the range, right? You are dividing by a number, so it could be any number. However, can the function have zero? Now you are dividing by some number, you can have zero only if the denominator is infinitely large and now that value of infinity can never be reached right since that infinitely large value can never be reached the function will never reach a zero correct so that gives us an idea that this function cannot have a zero in the range but all other values are possible so let me give you a rough sketch here based on what we have learned we first found the domain and that was by restricting the denominator uh, and we got x is not equal to 1. In fact, at 1, we'll have a vertical asymptote, right? If the value of x is slightly more than 1, in that case, it is going to be positive, right? Since it is going to be positive, and if it is very, very close to 1, let's say 1.1, in that case, it will be a positive big value. So the asymptote, it will reach like this. And we may have a function which is kind of like this. If x is 0, we expect a value to be minus 1. So at 0, it is minus 1. So it will be kind of like this on this half, right? Where this value here is, is minus 1. So that is approximate graph of the given function and as you can see in the range we have y belongs to all values where y is not equal to 0. In fact the x-axis which is y equals to 0 is horizontal asymptote for this function, right? I hope that helps to understand the given question. I am Anil Kumar. You can always share and subscribe to my videos. Thank you and all the best.